tainted as much by the blood in our veins as by the blood we shed. For an Amazon, yesterday's only a myth. And tomorrow is just a prophecy. Today is war. And we are the Hunters! This is Total Warhead, and welcome to another early game guide playing Penthesilia, one of the two Amazon sisters here in a Total War Saga Troy on Legendary Difficulty. Now, I want to do this early game guide because it is the only horde faction in Troy and it brings with it a system that I think is going to be incorporated with the Beastman rework of Warhammer 2. So we'll get into the details of what Battle Glory is and how you can get these reinforcements summoned before battle starts, similar to how I think the Ogres are going to work um, now that the Beastman uh, DLC has been announced or the trailer has released and we saw that Ogres are going to come as potential reinforcements. So. This is Penthesilia. She has really good weapon strength, good melee attack, morale, charge bonus, and a big bonus to uh, bonus versus heroes and good AP damage. So she is really good at destroying enemy generals. That's what makes her really strong. She starts with Vanquish, similar to Achilles. So you can look at her as a kind of similar to Achilles kind of hero. She might not do as much DPS as him, but she has a little bit better defensive stats if I remember correctly. But her charge bonus is pretty good, so I think initially she'll do some pretty good damage. Now, she does have plus 10% to morale for all units with an attacking for this army, so that's really good. Especially if you get a really high magnitude to morale for your own units, you can just use the percentage multiplier to help you out further. Additionally, with the Horde factions, they start with this, Amaz this uh, trait called Amazon Pride. So when you raise a settlement, you gain back 30% of your total campaign movement after raising it. Additionally, you do get plus 10% to any favor of Ares faction wide. So this, I'm not sure how useful it is because I haven't really utilized it too much. Maybe when you're building the temples to tier 1, tier 2, or tier 5, you might get more favor when you do that. Or when you ever, whenever you act on an enemy settlement with a priestess, you actually gain more favor if the temple in that enemy settlement is an Ares temple. Now, thing to note about priestesses when you're playing horde factions is that even if you build a temple... For um for this horde faction, you cannot use the priestess to boost the favor in this horde faction like you would on one of your own settlements. So the only way to gain favor with priestesses is to act upon a uh, enemy settlement. Now, how do you gain resources as Amazons? So one way is through uh reforms where you can gain, for example, in this one, the price of mercy, which I'm gonna go for. You can gain some good amount, a little bit extra of uh, resources across the board, uh, faction-wide, and then you can gain more through the initial um, reforms or oil decrease that you can get across each of these lines. Additionally, if we proceed, we still have the same sort of uh, extra resource per turn bonus uh, bonuses from these royal decrees that cost gold towards the end of all these research lines. The way that you can improve uh, administrative efficiency is through Tier 3 of Apollo, and also... Whenever you raise a settlement, you have the option to either gain more horde growth or gain 100% more administrative efficiency for the next turn. So you basically, uh, what would take you two turns to research, it will take you one. So you'll, you'll basically make it much faster. Now, additionally, continuing here, I think, I, I hopefully I did that math right. Maybe I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So additionally here, we're going to do something crazy. We're going to take this faction or this army and we're gonna rush right away we're gonna forget about this initial enemy we don't give a damn about what's going on over here we're gonna take this lady and we're gonna rush all the way over here and we're gonna go do some diplomatic shebang like some crazy shit so we can get this settlement before dardania gets it so we can get 600 favor with artemis because that's gonna give us artemis at max rank letting us unlock a orion which is not something i'm actually looking for but we can then do a worship effect, the highest prayer level, and get 10 Warriors of Artemis, which is a phenomenal... Actually, 10 of them in the early game is crazy to have 
it's a snipe stock great dps archer unit low unit model count so you, tr you should try to boost up their stats um as much as you can and their ammunition so they don't run out that fast but they do great amounts of damage and additionally you can get a bonus of 50 percent to success chance of ambushes for the next five turns which is really good now the good thing about this is that if we take this then right next to it is a food settlement and a bronze settlement when you raise settlements this is the the way that you can gain a lot of resources favor to gods um battle glory or a uh, vision over an area At, oh there's one more actually if you go to let me see over here if you want to unlock more mythical units it will let you when you raise some of these specific settlements that let you unlock um these uh mythical units you can gain plus one to the recruitment of that said mythical unit so that's pretty good to take into account now here though we want to get all the way down here as soon as we can it's gonna take us three turns but we can do it and we don't actually need to spend divine will on apollo to get here i want to get on the land by turn three and recruit a second general or a second horde army they might not survive too long per se but I want to make sure that I get up here and then on turn three to four, declare war on the crab people and then try to take the settlement the turn afterwards. Now, the uh, blood glory system the is that what it's called? Battle, battle glory. So right now it's at zero battle glory. So I have plus 5% to morale of all units, but plus 10% to upkeep cost of all units. And this has tiers. As you keep increasing it, you notice that your morale to units actually goes up to 15%. And you lose that upkeep cost penalty and gain plus 10% to campaign movement range of all armies. And you get more blood oath. What this means is that be when you're deploying in battle, you can deploy blood sworn units to the magnitude that each of these steers uh, specify up to nine of them. Now, what, what units are those? So you need to unlock the blood oath here, this first one, to get the blood, blood sworn warband which is basically like a better version of the warband units and then once you unlock this one by having at least 500 total battle glory and these resources then you can um get a second potential upgrade to the unit that you can summon it will also cost a plenty of resources and i think 1800 total battle glory and it, then you can summon an even better version of whatever unit um it lets you unlock so a really good way to get reinforcements to battle and I think something like that is how it's going to work for the Beastman rework that's coming up. Additionally, when you're playing the Amazons as these horde factions, all these hordes, whenever they get killed, they, they are wounded. They don't necessarily get destroyed from the campaign. So you don't lose your hordes uh, per se. Finally, the hordes cannot reinforce each other. But you can still utilize ambush and potentially confuse the AI into an unfavorable engagement by pulling the enemy into an ambush with a visible army. So no reinforcing each other. So that kind of limits you in terms of you can't get the reinforcement trait in Troy that gives you plus 10 campaign movement range. But you can still work around the system. And similarly, based upon, you know, how, if you've played Horde factions before, you had Horde growth, you have population surplus. To recruit heroes, you need population surplus and also to build settlement uh, buildings. And when you deconstruct the buildings, then the amount of population surplus that you need to build a new building is actually less. There are some really good ones here. For example, Master Smith gives you really good damage and armor for all units. And across these fa this faction, you have this baseline of units that you can recruit. And then to get better units in the campaign, you have to get those units that I showed to rank four or higher so you can initiate write them initiation write them so you can upgrade them but to do so you need to have w one of these tier three buildings built so for example if i want to get um labrys infantry i need to have this building constructed and i think at least one horde and then additionally you see that there's another bonus uh when you get these things done it is that it lowers recruitment costs for specific units it lowers upkeep costs for specific units and whenever you raise uh, s settlements that give you mythical units, depending on which of these buildings you have constructed and what mythical units are can be acquired through that raising, you can unlock uh, more of these uh, mythical units when you do the raising. 
but you see that these things cost a lot of resources to build them they have to raise a lot as much as you can and you can reduce the upkeep of chariots by a really good amount by 30 percent so anyways i think that's all i want to showcase here uh in terms of the military and then if you want to get envoys and more capital casualty replenishment building this building is really good and then it boosts you know you need three hordes with this building constructed to get up to three envoys <clears throat> and then skirmish party lets you get even more income from raiding income from raising and more treasures looted after battle if you get this building built which is pretty good to get early on actually if you look at this and then household slaves lowers how much food you can make per turn but it gives you a big boost to overall horde growth and then here for the temples you actually gain bonuses that are applied to the units that you have in your army so for example aries gives you plus 15 magnitude increase to charge bonus and plus 12 percent to melee attack of all units so you get really good bonuses across the board in this area and uh i think don't quote me on it you might be able to build more than one of these uh temples in a single army so you might be able to stack these statistical bonuses uh, in the same army so i think that's all i want to showcase here they've definitely gone through a lot uh not sure if there's anything else that i want to show oh here this is basically a summary of where where you can get bonuses depending on which settlements you raise and then it points you to set settlement so for example if i want that uh bonus to artemis favor to artemis let me see where it is i can just click this one and it shows me this settlement so i can go there and then initiation right shows you a diagram of depending on which units you recruit what you can get afterwards after you recruit them for my front line i want to get a lot of warband but then i can upgrade them to elaborate infantry and then upgrade them to either aniritis or to daughters of Ares. and i'll combine these units with um the warriors of artemis to have really good army a really good army early on and in terms of divine will there are some really good bonuses that we can utilize here we're gonna wait a couple of turns to get this so when i engage those enemy armies in a few turns i have might of the thunderbolt um activated so i get more melee attack to axe units and missile damage for my javelin units which are going to be the majority of my army composition in the early game so i think that will be it let us continue all right so i moved in Thessalia closer towards this region nothing else done this turn we can now proceed all right so on this turn three i've gotten Penthesilia to arrive on the land I am now going to recruit a uh, fighter vanquisher to have another good DPS general to take out the enemy generals as soon as I can. So let's get this general. Right and similarly challenge. to what I mentioned before, she has Amazon Pride. So more, you know, you can gain 30% of your overall movement after raising a settlement and your agent is no not um, killed or your hero is not killed if they are defeated in, in um, combat. So now that I've done this, Step I can aside, use her man. to recruit units and right now if you look at this army i have a total of three frontline slash flanking units two missiles and then a cav unit i think what i'm gonna prioritize is a couple of skirmishers to help me with missile damage and then now it's time to get Zeus up to level one and then get a prayer so i can then get um higher chances for diplomatic deals in the next turn so here nothing else i can do in this aspect um i don't i've gotten zero battle glory i believe right yeah because i haven't fought anything all right see dardania has already gotten to this point so they are really close to taking this settlement so i have to proceed very carefully um in the next couple of uh battles let's go all right so on this turn four i'm getting penthesilia to recruit three warbands i've moved all the units that i've recruited to this main army and now i'm gonna start doing diplomacy up the wazoo so i can do defensive alliances with all of these factions and i suggest that you never do military alliances in troy unless you can manage getting into way more wars than you could handle defensively you could potentially manage more so than um militarily but the benefit of doing defensive alliance is that it kind of works as a deterrent and you actually help get higher bonuses to diplomatic deals because you get a higher military threat so let's go here and we're gonna do a so we're going to work this turn, you know, little by little. So first off, we're going to do a non-aggression pact with Hector. And then we'll do the alliance. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to ask for as much wood as I can from the man. We're going to milk all these factions right now. Uh, something like that. Bam. 
and then we can do a defensive alliance with him and by doing so now i can keep asking for more resources and definitely stone he's kind of stingy about it try to always go for resources that are not the rarest and um they are red meaning that they are saturated don't go for green so the greener it is and the rarer the resource the harder it is to acquire from a faction additionally major factions uh appear to want to give more resources than minor factions just keep track of all these things when you're trying to acquire resources from the um potential factions now we're going to do defensive alliance we got the 10 the plus 10 bonus from the zeus prayer let's yes. take advantage of that and then here let's let's keep going through these factions next one is paris and we'll get the defensive alliance let's do the non-aggression pact and then here same thing boom get stone because it's going to help us build up um this faction as much as fast as possible food is going to be really uh important as well but we'll focus on just getting wood to build up the the buildings as soon as i can so let's do this here okay and then defensive alliance and then we're just gonna ask for the food there we go all right i have no idea what i just did there that sound i just made please you completely forget that i made it i got some problems man i got heavy issues so let's go to hippolyta I am happy to listen and oh we already have an aggression pact and military access so let's go here and then let's go like yo homie what you got here give me some of that give me some of that wood there we go not that kind of wood you know actual physical wood and then troy defensive this. alliance sounds good to me and then they actually have a lot of good yeah that's not gonna happen yeah dude stop stop getting greedy man and then ask for the food from the man oh my god there boom very good and then for some reason they don't want to do a military military we alliance really to discuss. oh hell no we're not gonna do that okay and then i think that is it i could get the military alliances with these factions but i'm not sure if i want to do i have non aggression packs with anybody no i mean technically speaking Any who fights with honor has my ear I could really milk this now let me actually i'll think about it let me let me do this first Dardania, we don't want to get into any trouble with them. They're basically going to be the ones that conquer most of the regions that I race. So we're going to be on good terms with them. So let's get as many resources as I can from him. And then this one... No, forget about all the minor factions. Just focus on all the big boys. Yeah. Military access, nobody defensive. Um, You know what? Let's actually do the military uh, alliances. I don't think I'll be doing that many non-aggression packs. Except with all these Trojan people. So you know what? I'm going to play it crazy. I'm just going to ask for even more resources. So let's milk them all. Milk them all. Here we go. Oh, shit. Boom. Play it. Play it crazy, man. All right. I believe our people. And then what does he have? Together. There. Okay. I'm and finally, hippo. Hippo. Give me that hippo. There we go. All right, sweet. And I think that will be it. Nothing else I want to do, right? Yeah, all these other factions could be potential enemies. And then here, like nope. We're early to do any of that. Okay, so now I have 18k in food, which is, that's just freaking crazy. Um, I do need some more stone. I thought I asked for stone. Well, I guess that's going to have to wait then. Because um, I do need stone to build a lot of things. And this stone settlement is raised. But anyways, um, I think we're good here. I think I can build here just yet. I think we're in a pretty good state. And I'm recruiting these units. Let's see what this army does. They should go to attack um, me during this end turn. Let's continue. Okay, so I'm going to do a crazy idea here. I'm actually going to engage this minor general at this point. And I think my army... Actually, let me do something. Because you're at war with them. But let me do this. Consider yourself welcome. Oh, that's why they did. I'm a freaking idiot. I forgot they weren't engaging me the next turn. And then let's do a military access with them. Can do a defensive alliance just yet. Man, they're stingy. And then here, what can we get from the guy? Oop. Maybe not so much. 50? 5? Okay. Pretty good to me. 
And then we can step... I can step on his regions as he is acquiring them so he won't get any diplomatic penalties. And then I'm gonna go over here. And this sounds crazy, but I'm gonna engage this guy so the reinforcements come in be from behind me. I hope they come in from behind me. So let's actually do this. It's a close defeat, so there's no way that I could win this straight up. I hope they come in from behind. We'll see how this goes. Or, uh, what do you call it? With the skirmishers that I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skirmishers and they're going to shoot from a diagonal um, direction. And in these units, I'm going to have to just really spread out to engage the enemy. And in the horses, I'm also going to have to utilize very carefully along with Pensacilia. So here we go. We're going to have to proceed here and go. The enemy is receiving reinforcements. has sighted your hidden units. Come on, Penthesilia. Take his ass out. Of Shit. Penthesilea. Oh my god, I'm probably saying that name wrong. Your warriors are losing heart. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, take their ass out. Come on. Here you go. there will be more reinforcements i'm actually confused hmm penthesilea oh, damn i totally massacred that name man i gotta be careful because i think that there's more enemies coming yep there we go Oh, melt their asses. There you go. Make sure he doesn't come back. Destruction. And you can kill his ass. There you go. Shoot him. Shoot him. Holy shit. Look at that morale. 15, 12. Come on, buddy. Has claimed the enemy hero. Oh, shit. Is that the last unit? There we go. Shoot his ass. I think there's probably more reinforcements. Alright. Come on. Yep, yeah, there we go. Ares, witness us. Shatter the foe. Come on, come on. Get it done, warrior! 
Here we go. Melt their asses. Alright, you guys stop shooting. And you horsies, face his ass. Here we go. Alright, so I think that the garrison should be pretty damn weak after this. And I might be able to take it this turn. It just depends how many units they have left. I'm gonna make sure that all these people get super weak. All of them. Whatever's left here. And at this point, how many are there? 25... Okay, models are getting killed. Sometimes when you surround a, a unit, the unit, the model count doesn't actually drop, so you gotta keep track of that. And in here, he's losing HP, so he should get killed. Okay, very good situation. Let's get out of here. So definitely, I could take the battle glory, but I don't really need the extra um, summons just yet of the battle of the blood sworn. So I'm gonna take the replenishment, so I don't lose any units or as much as I can, actually. And then here, the next turn is when Dardania finishes the entire army and they grab this settlement. I must prevent that from happening. So let's go here. It is a medium cadmium victory. And I know it's like, oh, you know, I said I shouldn't lose that many units or whatnot. So, yes, that is true. But I don't necessarily want to be fighting um, this battle. Um, let me think. Do I want to actually do it? Let me do this, actually. This Let's go here. It. And if I do this... Merch. We can take 14 them. left. Cut them down. It's about the same, so we'll definitely lose this single unit. These two warbands might survive. Let's see what happens. Massacre them. Okay, so I lost... Only one of them survived. Okay, this is fine. Just lost three units. That's okay. And then here, this is going to be important. Um, Do we want to go for horde growth or for administration, administration efficiency? We want to go for horde growth because we want to maximize our army's statistics as soon as we can and there's a lot of buildings that do that for us so let's go for this even though we're not going to get as much battle glory um initially so let's go this way and get the horde growth it and, enslave their men folk. and now the perfect we have a uh, we have artemis at the highest level so we can actually start recruiting the 10 uh units on um, the next turn but to do so I do want to get the bronze because I need about 200 bronze per Artemis unit that I recruit. So I need to have about 2,000. And when I raise this settlement up here, that's actually going to give me enough. But for now, we're going to recruit warband units because these are going to be our frontline units in the early game. And in this lady here, we're just going to put her in encamp stance. Go over here. That won't work. Oh, that's the AOE of the... Uh, okay, let's do this. Let's get you to raise the, the or to put a general here so a new army is not recruited there during the end turn. And then here, nothing we can construct for now, but we're going to get really good amount of growth on um, the next turn. So I think we're in a good situation here. I'm not going to use, use any skill points on Penthesilia just yet. Let's go. Yeah, so as you can see there, no general was recruited. So I lost... Uh, cult level of Artemis from the max level. That's okay. Yes, so let's know. go over here and then just take care of this settlement Kill next. It is a close victory. I might lose one or two units. I think that that is okay. Let's go. Let's battle uh, I lost the one of the warbands, but that's okay. Not too many. And then here, same thing. We can keep maximizing our uh, horde growth. To keep So how this works is just like in Warhammer 2. The horde growth is going to keep stacking for the turns remaining. So you can gain plus... So the turns remaining five will stack with the four turns remaining that I had for the extra horde growth. Which is really good. This one is active for only one turn. It's important to try to manage that. Now, we can try to actually switch this up. And instead of going for workforce, go to this one to gain the extra battle glory. To be able to get the blood sworn units. My skill is proven. And right now, we can... Let's see how many do we have we have 250 290 battle glory but we need a little bit more we raised multiple settlements okay so we've destroyed this fishing people so they're done and then over here i'm not sure where they're where, where this faction's armies went but before we cross the pond we want to make sure we have a pretty big army before doing so so let's actually keep stacking uh this army with a lot of war bands and then also take this lady over here 
boom and then keep recruiting more units as well in this backup army so this is good and then if we go to divine will i can do a hecatomb in two turns so i can't do it just yet for um for artemis because i want to max it out to get the orion which i could utilize to take it to achilles for example to get diplomatic view of that faction for the rest of the game so here now we want to get the bronze settlement and then we could actually raise the athena one here before we start recruiting so we can also do a prayer to athena and get the warriors of artemis units at really high recruit rank so i think that is it here uh penthesilia did level up i'm not gonna spend any uh points just yet because i want to spend them on ambassador of hermes to gain more fatigue reduction or recruit rank in the next uh turn so let's go okay so given how much food we have it's worthwhile to do all these trades for additional resources which um will help you with uh building up your economy over time so i could actually do a counter offer here oh she has no stone okay yeah we can definitely do this deal and i think it's favorable for us let's do this and then this faction is going for a non-aggression pact i don't think they're gonna go to war with any of the trojan factions so it's not bad to actually do this deal so this faction over here that has gold has decided to declare war on us then we have a mission to get 20 um we get a total of uh 20 units we gotta keep track of that and then here we want to keep building up this entire army before pushing across the pond so let's keep doing this here and then here we go as well we have a lot of war bands so we might lose them in auto resolve so here now really good situation we just need to cross the pond to attack that enemy i think we should actually maximize our movement by actually going to this Go over here as close as we can to the water. On the march. Boom. Get the war bands. And then here. He's recruiting the units, so this band them. Move closer as well. I understand. Push. I'll make it happen. War bands. So doesn't this actually we can just do the support the Trojans. It's not gonna hurt us at all. We have alliances with them, so whoever they go to war against, we're gonna go to war with them. So we're definitely going to have to manage that. And then here. The 20 unit army over here. So let's do this. Let's confuse the AI. By putting her. In view of another faction's army. Oh right. Okay. Are they at war with each other? No it doesn't seem like it. Okay. Okay, so let's go right there. And you can step in the water there, right? Yeah. No let's go on ambush stance. And then you keep giving the units to this army. That's it. On the march. Go to ambush. Or uh, encamp, my bad. To get more battle glory. And then if we go here, how much do we have? 410. We almost have 500. Nothing that is it. Let's lose. continue. Okay, so this, fa this army oh, here is in the water. I can engage it. Let's see how this favorable this is. I will take this Cadmian victory. Um, I think if I do the battle manually, let's see. 37, 18. Hmm. And I do have Strider, right? Yeah, because all these units... No, because I don't have the prayer active. Okay. So I think I can actually win this with what I'm going to face off if I do the battle manually. 37, 18, 70. 37, 18, 70. Uh, actually... They don't have good bonus AP damage. I have a ton of AP damage. I think I could actually win this. You know what? Let's just do the Cadmian victory. Let's Show take it. This is their main army, so they're gonna be in a really bad state after this. And now, I should have enough battle glory to be able to get the Bloodsworn. Okay. Nice. That against no reinforcements. I cannot do that. And there's two ways I can go here. I can go straight for the settlement. And try to take it. But I think here... Let's see. I will. Set sail. Is there any army at this area? Up the pace. No. I, won't. I, don't think I just so. want to siege that settlement next. I and then this slaughter. army... It's not doing too hot. And life. here... Definitely not a reinforced um, garrison. So I think I might be able to take it myself. This turn. 
and then Bloodsworn. Oh, 490. Death finds us all. Okay, let's eliminate this army then. Boom. Show no mercy. Very good. And then here we got we'll the battle glory. Of their deaths. And those armies retreating, barely, but they're retreating. Right. At these bonuses, not bad. I fear no man. Then I don't have much movement left that here. But I am sure we will both come out of this better off. And there are war with these? No. Which faction is this one? Nine points. Hmm, okay. That's fine. The perfect Amazon warrior. Let's come back up the here then. Docked. Let's get these units replenished. And actually, merch. Merch. And how many can I recruit? Three. Boom. Okay, and then you are gonna come up here and siege this major settlement. Okay. Pretty good. Let's go. Alright, so let's take this army. Oh, right, let's do this. So we can unlock now the first Blood Sworn unit. And then if I need about 1800 Battle Glory in total, so 1300 more. And about 300 gold to get any uh, the Labrys infantry instead of the Warband, which is the next unit upgrade in the, in the initiation rights of the Warbands. So let's go this way. I think I might be able to siege it. Okay. New horse. Yes. Don't Perfect. Hold back. And then here, we're just going to get as much battle glory as possible. So let's Destroy get this. this place. Very good. Man killer. And now we have the bronze that we need for the Artemis units. So let's do this. Let's go to Divine Will. And we're going to do a Hecatum. And now the Prayer. So this is a really good situation. And then I can upgrade this to level 3. Okay. And I can do a couple of things here. I can get more income from raiding. I don't have enough stone to get this built. Um, I do want to get my basic warbands upgraded as soon as I can. To, um the next units and then here Ares and Sus are gonna be the most helpful for boosting up my frontline units that are gonna be unshielded that's gonna help their stats the most and then Athena is gonna help with melee defense Aphrodite morale I think here Artemis also helps but we're not gonna do any or get anything out of um getting that constructed so I think we will benefit the most from Ares. So let's get Ares constructed. Boom. Actually, hold on. Oh, I need 300 stone for this one. Damn. Let me do this. Let me go to diplomacy. Rich in stone. Really? Listening to the Amazons may be worthwhile. So, what can I trade? That they won't... Oh, really? Wow. Damn. Okay. And now I can get this upgrade to really boost up my units. And then I'll get one of these ones constructed in a few turns. And then over here, what do I want to do? No problem. Of Ares. Faster, sisters. I think I'll be fine at this point. Alright. And then this army. Let's recruit two more units. Or actually a bit more. There. And then we should be able to grab this settlement the next turn. So during this end turn, I got offered 108 gold for 819 in bronze. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do this. And this faction could go to war with the Trojans. I'm not going to do mess with anything related to that. Construct any building. Very nice. Upgrade the main building. And we got more campaign movement range. Oof. Oh, really? I can't get there? What? Okay, so let's do this. Let's move you over here.
Oh, that might not have been a good idea. I might, I might just lose her. No, because I think the AI wouldn't actually uh, engage. Mistress of the battlefield. Rising to the challenge. I can upgrade this. It's going to lower my food, but it's going to get me um, more growth, which is going to help. Okay. And I need to raise this settlement. And then after that, I will start recruiting all the units. Okay, first war declaration. Some dudes in the far south don't care. Let's go. How much does this cost? Damn. Oh, I got four points. So here, I can boost up the recruit rank of agents even f of these units even further. But this is even more important than Ambassador of Hermes. Especially getting fresh if I'm on raid stance. Which I don't think... The bad thing though is that I don't think she gets... um What do you call it? That same skill that Achilles gets for getting more bonuses from raiding. Which is kind of weird that she doesn't. But... I think this one's going to be good. Additional fatigue reduction is pretty good as well. Um, Let me actually just go for this one. And then here, not going to spend any more points. I'll do it. You can't reinforce. So you can go here. Massacre them. It's a valiant defeat, so I have to do this battle manually. Or actually, I have a better idea. Not manually. I live for the fight. All right, over. Ooh, a hundred percent. Oh, there's a priest there. Okay. On the move. There. And then let's move you right there. I shall. And then I can build stuff up. This running boom. And here I can't build this one just yet. And I'll pull this army out of the settlement to engage me. Yep. Keep asking for gold, and you shall receive. All right, the ambush was successful. Really, really good decisive victory. Take him out. Lost one unit. That's okay with me. Pretty good replenishment for the rest. I think I'll keep getting the extra battle glory, though. Okay, so continuing now. As you say. Got two more points for her. The recruitment cost, reduction, don't care. More from raising. And let's get more resources from raising. Actually, that, that shouldn't need, need to do that, but whatever. Damn, did he upgrade the um garrison? Embrace your Here. doom. I don't think that's gonna do anything, but yeah. We can take them. Step aside, men. Still don't have the horde growth for this for this army. Show no mercy. All right. I think I have to do a hecatomb again here and another prayer again. Because I think with the celebrated effect, let me see. It dropped this. I can recruit the unit there. This okay, let's it. go. All right, another faction for Hippolyta to just completely destroy. And in here, let's get upkeep reduction for all units to help stabilize my food loss. Yeah, they're still uh, doing holding uh, holding out there. One more turn. And this stuff helps. Let battle commence. Has she gotten the bonus? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll just keep starving them out. Let's go. All right, now I pulled the Trojans into a major freaking mess. All right, now they're going to suffer attrition. Uh, Let's continue. All right, he's offering stone. I'll gladly take that. Let's go. And here, nope. All right, there we go. The big losses. Now, close victory. Boom. All right, and then keep getting more battle glory. Raise it and enslave them men. And with that, we got Athena maxed out, and this faction has been eliminated. So what we're gonna do here is, boom, get this lady replenished again. Got now more points here. Not gonna use them for now. Um, okay, here we go. So I can do a prayer for her. Is this prayer still active? I think so. Kindle the sacred fires. And then, uh, prayer will provide effects for four turns. Wait, so... Oh, I don't think it's activated, though. Yeah, so let's do this one. Oh, mercy, divine ones. oh shit, I have enough stone for this. Prayer, move! Please. Damn! And if I build this... Oh, I'm gonna get the axe unit that's already really highly recruited. Okay, very good. And then, going back to divine will... Gotta do a prayer next turn. Okay, got it. Oof, oof. Oh my goodness, this is so nasty. And here, what do I want to do?
Mm. Oh, so she can have the Hephaestus and then give the armor upgrades. I can do the armor upgrades for the units. Ooh, that's actually not that bad, but I need growth, so let's do this. Nice. All right, let's hold them off. And then next turn, I'll do the prayer for uh, Warriors of Artemis. All right, you have more factions asking for war? Run their ass over. Damn, the poor Trojans. I've pulled them into so much shit. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, nice. Alright, so Athena is giving me that effect. And then I pray her to this one. Gods of Olympus, do right. not abandon me. This army is still standing is there. Possible. Yep, let's get this one, and then here, nothing else I can construct, right? Not yet. But now what I can do, though, is recruit the warbands, or re-recruit them at least. Okay, so... That will not work. This is where it gets interesting, because I don't want this army to chase me just yet. But what I can do is, let me put you in ambush. And keep you like that. And then this army should potentially attack this next turn. Okay, let's go. And I'll recruit the units in a bit. Alright, so I made a small agreement to trade some of my bronze for some wood as a barter agreement. So I got this completed. And now... Let the funds begin. So... Wait. Oh, shit. Got enemies coming from everywhere. Let's take their ass out. Boom. And then... I think with how many armies there are. Just so let's just do this. Here we go. More battle glory. More battle glory. And let's take this one out. Let battle commence. Very good. I have 390 battle glory. Holy shit. Ah, Alright, there we go. Target practice. Excellent. And then let's step Death back up here. Glory. No benefit from raising this place. And then I got plus two points. Your weapon. Yeah, no bonuses here just yet. Okay, so now here we go. This is where the fun begins. Bam! Ten of them. Rank four. And these guys already at rank um five. So I think I want to get war bands. Let me see if I want to get anything else. So if I look here, if I get the war bands, I can build them up to Labrys Infantry. Oh, they cost a bunch of gold. Damn. They don't cost a bunch of bronze. But I definitely want to get uh, Daughters of Ares. There's Hippomakoi. There's the furries. Okay. So what we're going to do here is... One more turn and then... Oof. Ooh. Okay. Let's go here. Merge all these units. We merge everything. There. Okay. And I can recruit a bunch of units right now. So let's start. And I, need, I can recruit five more. So I don't necessarily want to keep the skirmishers. Even though you can get really good units from the skirmishers. Is the Strigatoys the... No, I don't think that's not the um, upgrade that I'm looking for. Yeah, because they don't actually upgrade any further. Not a bad unit, but... Let me go back to Divine Will. Or sorry. Do it. What the hell am I doing? Jesus. Here. So... Remove this in unit that's injured. So I can recruit one more of these guys. And then what else? Alright, so here I disbanded a couple of units. And then I am recruiting almost all of the Warriors of Artemis. Let me actually finish recruiting them all. Remove this unit. And then there's still a couple here that I want to remove. These two. And then I got one more that I want to remove. I might keep the Horsewoman. They do have pretty damn good stats, but only have 16 unit models. Um... Even the skirmishers are a good unit, but I think I'm just going to go full spam of uh, these units. And then later on, if I want to change it, I will. So that's going to be the 10 of these units there. And then I think I'll just spam the Labrys infantry for now. So we'll change up all these units next to get a bunch of warbands recruited. And I can upgrade them the next turn. But to do the upgrade, I'm going to need 60 gold across how many units? Let me see. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Damn. Eight. I don't have enough gold for that. And I still want gold for this. Hmm. Yeah, I might hold off on doing all of that for now. But here, I think pretty much the early game guide is just that I wanted to get these units. So I think it's now turn 19. Pretty good turn to actually end this. Now, the next steps would be to recruit warbands at rank uh, 5. So you get a good frontline AP damage unit. That then you can change to the Labyrinth Infantry to have even better stats. And then you want to proceed to target a couple of um, heroes. You want to get Ares maxed out because this one gives you bonuses to sword and axe units. So there you go. Morale, melee attack. And then also you get more income from looting, raiding, and sacking. So you can benefit from raiding more so. And then here at tier one, you can gain more statistics for melee attack of axe units. So this really is going to help you overall to really get to a better state in terms of your army composition being stronger. After that, you can keep Artemis and Athena up um, because the auto benefits you for recruiting heroes at a higher rank. And also here with getting the statistics up for archer units. Poseidon also helps with... Actually, is it, no, Aphrodite? Wait, who the one is it? Apollo, my bad. Apollo also boosts the statistics of missile units. So for archers, you can go for Apollo and Artemis. And then for your frontline two-handed axe units, go for Zeus and Ares to really max out the statistics. As for what settlements to go for next, I would say you definitely need food. So raising this settlement is going to be a high priority all the way up here. So you can definitely just um, forget about this settlement here. You don't have to raise it again. And then grab this one for 12k in food. To finish recruiting all of the units. Or you can trade for the food so you can get the warbands at a higher rank. Then you want to raise the Hephaestus building up here. You can get a Divine Craftsman and get that armor for your units. And then finally, you want to rotate back over towards the east. Because then you can get Zeus maxed out at this location. You can get gold, which is going to help with getting the blood uh, oath to the next rank to get higher blood sworn units and to recruit all of these warbands or level them up to Labyrinth Infantry. And finally, Ares is at this location, which is then going to net you as many buffs as you can get across Axe units with Zeus, um, Ares, and then a Divine Craftsman in the army to really max out statistics as much as possible. And then finally, the 305 gold here to really help you get all these units with initiation rights leveled up so i think that is it here nothing else i want to focus on i really want to thank you for watching and i hope to see you on the next one bye bye